I'm Chad with Ridewell Suspensions. I'm here to talk about our Extreme Air series of height control valves. First overview of our series of valves, then I'll break down each valve further, and then I will go over troubleshooting. First off, this is our standard valve. It is used on most applications. Next, this is our pressure dump height control valve. It is used with an auxiliary valve to dump these suspensions. This is our zero pressure dump height control valve, sometimes referred to as an automatic dump height control valve, that is tied into the park brakes and will dump these suspensions whenever the park brakes are engaged. And then this is our low flow height control valve that is used on buses, RVs, and on trailers with onboard 12 volt compressors. All of our valves come with our alignment cap on it. The cap has a notch and the valve itself has two alignment positions. This is our standard valve. It is identifiable by having the blue body and three ports. We use it in most applications. You have the red air line that connects to the supply and the two blue air lines go to the load springs. You can use both or you can plug one of them. This is our pressure dump height control valve. It is used in conjunction with the auxiliary valve to dump these suspensions. It is identifiable by its blue body, and this port on the three port side is plugged. This red air line is your supply. This green air line is the pilot port. It will dump whenever 75 PSI is supplied, or if you're not using the pilot to dump these suspensions, put a section of air line in their exposed atmosphere and it will function normally. These blue air lines go to your load springs. You can use both or you can plug one of them. This is our zero pressure dump height control valve, also sometimes called an automatic dump height control valve. It is identifiable by its blue body, five ports, and this port on the two port side being plugged. This red air line is your supply. The green is the pilot and is connected to your park brakes and it will dump whenever your park brakes are activated. It must have over 75 PSI to function normally. These blue lines go to your load springs. You can use both of them or plug one of them. This is our low flow height control valve. It's used on RVs, buses, and trailers with 12 volt compressors on them. It is identifiable by its gray body and the suspension ports are quarter inch push to connect instead of 3 8 push to connect, which is standard. The red air line is the supply with the black air lines connecting to the load springs. You can use both or you can plug one of them. If your ride height is too high or too low, check the adjustment. That can be done by checking that at ride height, the cap is aligned on one of the notches. If you need to adjust it, that can be done by loosening the hose clamp and sliding the P-connector. If your height control valve is not receiving air or not delivering air to the air springs, check that your height control valve is receiving air pressure and that there's not a blocked line going to the height control valve or coming from the height control valve. If your air springs are filling but they do not exhaust, check your air lines are connected in the correct places. These could be swapped and that could be causing an issue or that the valve cap is aligned 180 degrees out. If your suspensions are leaking down in a short period of time, check that the height control valve and air lines are not installed incorrectly or that there is a leak in the system beyond recommendations.